Have you loved gambling for Bitcoin with your BitX solo miner? Let's amp up the odds. What other options have we got? The BitX costs about 211 New Zealand dollars plus GST. Next up is the Canon Avalon 3S. Bit more expensive at 559 plus GIST, but you go from 1.2 terahash all the way up to 6 terahash. So what's that mean for your odds? Well, at 1.2, Terahash at the moment you've got a chance in about 1 in 13,000. If we bump that up to 6 terahash, you now have a chance of 1 in 2,600. That's a pretty good improvement, isn't it? Let's order one and see what turns up. My Canon Avalon Nano 3S has just arrived. Let's see what we get in the box. Well, I've already pulled out the power cord. Nice, it's shipped with a New Zealand cord. Let's Okay, let's whip it out of the box. Okay, that's obviously the main miner. That'd be the port where the Wi-Fi plugs in. Got a USB-C for the power. Got a removable vent for the hottie where the heat comes out. What else we got in the box? Module, documents Wi-Fi module. Okay, so that's easy enough. That will just plug into here. Let's try and put it in the right way round. What else we got in here? Ah, connecting to a pool. Don't think there's anything else interesting there. Oh yeah, we've got a, we've got a manual. All right, so it's AC adapter at the bottom. Let's have a look at that. Another user manual. Oh, that's a quite a cool looking power supply. It's um, see-through. One last item here, power cable. Oh, that's funny. So it ships with a US power cable and then they throw in an Australia, New Zealand one uh, on the top. All right, let's peel off this little bit. There's a little screen there. Okay, let's go get this baby plugged in. Okay, to manage this device, Canon make this nice app called the Avalon Family app. Uh, I'm a bit retarded with recording phones, so what we do is go and look at it on the website. When we look at it, it makes you scan the QR code with the Canon Avalon family app to log in. So hopefully that'll tick over in just a second. And this is what the web interface looks like. As far as configuration goes, you're mostly just doing the pool config. Just like with a BitX, you set up a um, the pool you want to use, you put in your Bitcoin wallet, and then you can go dot and put in a worker name. So I call mine Nano3, but you might call yours Bob, Jill, anything you want. And I found I had to put a dummy password in, so I just put an APC, um, my pool doesn't use passwords. So we just go and look at the main dashboard. It's got different uh, throughput modes. Um, mine's currently set to high. Uh, and high it uses 140 watts. So it, it's just a very gentle, well, it's currently reporting 131 heats, just very gentle. And there's lots of status information here. So it says it's fine, currently doing 6.2 terahash. That's the average. You don't want to see very many rejected shares, so that's good. Uh, well, my pool is actually on my local network, so my ping is super low, fans look good, power supply is fine, and then what pool is currently active. So that's the Canon Avalon Nano 3S. So if you feel like you want to spend a bit more money than a BitX and up the gambling and have a much better return, still very unlikely to ever solve a block or win anything, I think that's a good solution. I'm going to leave a link to the uh, shop I bought it from on AliExpress in the video description. I don't make anything from these links. There's no referral codes, nothing. Uh, I'm just letting you know where I got it from. So hopefully you'll have a good experience when you buy from them as well. Okay, I'll catch you in my next video.